All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rachakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who rule well and told us this truth. And, the, and uh, sincere peace and salutations to all Aki and pushing his word and truth and in all sincerity. To Brother Ganon from the DC Church coming back at you with another video. And Lord's will, you know, I'm just going to spirit, <coughs> going to spirit to lock in for no garment. Um, as you can see, I'm on the go. But, you know, I just wanted to go in the spirit about, um, you know, uh, this year. This year is 2020. This is uh, January 3rd, uh, year 2021. 20, and, um, you know, Apostle Taha, you know, the leader of Israel right now, point this uh, year to be the hasten of the coming of the great day of the Lord. You know, if our Lord, you have a shot. And, you know, we're hastening in that day because we know that day is approaching. And you have to understand, you know, as a man of the Lord, what do that what do that day mean for us, man? You know, it's gonna be, uh, you know, that straight gate is gonna get that that straight gate, that path of difficulty is gonna get tougher. You know, Satan is gonna try you more. Um, you know, the world is gonna start picking their fun at you. You know, uh, 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 doing whatever they can to try to get all of us out of this truth or all of us to. Uh, you know, lose our faith. And 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 brothers know me, man. Brothers know, you know, brothers watching my channel, you know, so rock the second chapter is a heavy chapter to me, man. It's something I can uh probably recite without reading it. You know, I, I got it right here, I'm gonna read it. Um but brothers gotta stay in this mindset, especially now, man. So much shit is gonna start happening to us that we couldn't fathom or or or, or, or put it put into thoughts put into words but guess what the how about I was shot got us man and, and when it's all said and done we all going to know that it was all so well all so worth it man it was all so worth it to go through everything that we're going to go through because we're being trained up to be leaders of the world man leaders of the world so hey you know this story have to be uh you know, dramatic, so to speak. This is Sirach 2 and 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. And that's a test, man. You got to prepare your soul for test, man. You know, you're going to be tested in this thing to see if you're really about this, man. If you're really about Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. You know, they're going to come at your loved ones. They're going to come at the things that uh, you cherish and you hold to your heart the dearest, man. You know, whatever it is, man, it's Satan. Uh, testing you, man. You know, if something uh, 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 uneasy approach you, remember these scriptures, man. Remember that when you come to serve you, how about Shemal was shot? This is, you know, we got to prepare our soul for test, man. And we, we don't get to choose what our test is, but guess what? The Lord said we would not be tested beyond our measure. You know, we would not be tested beyond our measure. Verse 2, it says, Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in the time of trouble. You see? So that shows you that the, these tests that the first verse was talking about, it's, it's going to be some trouble, man. It's going to be some things that's, that's not, uh, that's, that's, that's something that you're not necessarily used to. You know? It's not going to be, it's, it's going to be something that's going to be a bit uneasy, man. But remember, you won't be tested beyond your measure. So if you're going through it, the Lord know you can do it, man. You know? So it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. The word endure means to make heart. So so when you're going through a, a tough situation, you know you got to go through it, you know, in order to uh, uh, get stronger, man. You know, and make not haste in the time of trouble. You, you can't uh, lose your faith when things is bad, man. Because things ain't always going to be uh, 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 fine and dandy. First Peter's four and twelve says, uh, uh, "Think it not strange when the fiery trials, uh, 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 when the, when when the fiery trials come to try you, man. You know, think it not strange, man. Why? Because it's been warnings up and down the scriptures, man. That's why it's important to listen to the right men of the Lord. That's why when I said earlier, Apostle Tahar, the the he's the leader right now in Israel, right now, man. You know, because look at everybody else, man. You know." Look at everybody else recanting on their words, man. You know? Uh, 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 IUIC, now Nate saying he's not going to take the chip. I mean, the vaccine. 
you know then you got uh, uh Johanna saying you'd be dumb not to take the vaccine you know like look look at look at look at the uh leaders man you know you got to know where to go the scriptures tell you um um the, the scriptures warn you about the, the hard times man warn you about the uh Jacob's trouble man and that's is is approaching man it's approaching now man it's it's here you know it's here the the rules and the laws that's being put in place is is being in the works right now man it's being put in the works right now so when that trouble come you can't make haste man verse 3 it says cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end you see it says cleave unto him man it means hold man for dead life You know, it means hold on to it for dear life, man. You know, it says cleave unto him and depart not away. You know, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. We're going to be increased, brothers. These tests, once we pass it, we're going to be increased, man. To where it's go, say, you know, man, he can't try you with that no more, man. That shit don't work on you, man. That's being a man of integrity, man. Whatever brothers got to go through, man. You got to think like that. Verse 4 says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be and be patient when thou art changed into a lower state, man. So what, what, when something happens, you know, you take it cheerfully, man. And that don't mean you start to fucking celebrate. But you don't get all down on yourself down in the dumps as if you don't understand what the fuck is going on, man. The scriptures told you. You know? The scriptures told you, man. That's why it's important to follow the right men. That's going to guide you into the right way and understanding the scriptures, man. You know? When you change it to a lower state, man, you're supposed to be patient, man. Suffer it out, man. Later on, it's going to say, man, that the Lord has never forsaken the, the, the righteous, man. Has never uh, 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 let let down his men. It's going to say that in this very same chapter, man. That's why it's a rock the second chapter, man. Man. Verse 5. It says, For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. In Job 23 and 10, it says, uh, For he knoweth the way that I take. Uh, when he have tried me, I shall come forth as gold. You know, and you gotta ask yourself, man, is you a phony in this thing or you really about this shit, man? You really about this truth, man. You about your how about shit, man, I was shy, man. Ask yourself that. You know? Because Job said he know the way that I take. When he have tried me, I shall come forth as gold, man. That's Job 23 and 10, man. That's heavy, man. That's heavy. Big time. You know, so so you gotta ask yourself: Are you an acceptable man? Are you a, uh, are you a, uh, are you an uh, ex acceptable man? You know. So when you going through your tribulations, you going through your trials, you you doing what, man? You suffering it out because you know that the deliverance is coming, man. Proverbs three and five: Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not to thy own understanding. Verse six. You know, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths, man. You got to be acceptable, man. Verse 6, it says, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way of right and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall, man. You know, you're supposed to wait for, for his mercy. When you start to start, you start to do your own thing, you know, start to seek to deliver your own self. Then you, hey, the, last, the word least means for fear you fall, man. So you're supposed to wait for his mercy, man. Ye that fear the Lord, believe in him. It says, ye that fear the Lord. It's a lie. Let get off this time, like. Turn it, it's kind of distracting. But it says, uh, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, least ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him. And your reward shall not fail. So all we have to do is believe, Akim, from this point on. And our hastens. Believe 
and Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and our reward will not fail, man. It's not going to fail us, man. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. So whenever something's happening, so when, so, so when something's happening to you, something's happening to one, one of your loved ones, you hope for good and, and, and you hope for mercy, you hope for deliverance for you and your loved ones, man. Verse 9 again, it says, Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. And that's, that's our hope, man. That's our hope. That's the everlasting joy that we're looking for. That's the kingdom of heaven, man. When we ain't got to worry about no damn C-19s no more. We ain't got to worry about no fucking headaches no more. We ain't got to worry about this, this Edomite oppressing us, man. We ain't going to have to worry about that, man. That's the everlasting joy, man. Verse 10, it's, and this is, this is the... Uh, this is what I uh, uh, mentioned earlier. Verse 10, it says, Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? You see? And the answer is nobody, man. Verse 11, For, for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgiving sins, and saving from the time of affliction. So when you're going through your afflictions, man, you're going through your troubles, you're going through your tri triumphs, this is the time he's going to save you, man. This is the time that you, you grow, your faith grow, because, hey, man, though you can't see the Lord with your own two eyes, you know he's here, man. Why? Because he's going to deliver you, man. All you have to do is believe. All you have to do is believe, man. You know? You know? Verse verse 12, it says, Woe be to the fearful heart and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. Right, so when everything is good, you, 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 you all about this truth, man. You the super Israelite, you know? But when the trials and the tests start to come, then that's the center that's going two ways. Now you now you wishy-washy. Now, you, now you're not really sure of yourself, man. The scriptures say, woe be to the fearful heart, man. Woe meaning destruction. Meaning destruction is going to come to you, man. Why? Because you don't truly believe. Like, like you've been out there every week on, on Saturday saying, you know, like you've been uh, pulling up these videos and, and, and linking up with brothers, you know, like you're the ultimate Israelite, but you don't truly believe, man. Verse 12, it says, Woe be to the fearful heart and faint hands, and the sinner that goeth two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Tell me you don't feel that, man. Tell me you don't feel that. Woe to him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended, man. Why the hell is the Lord going to come down here and defend you if you ain't you don't even believe in him, man? You don't even believe that he is, man. You calling on Yahweh and the, the, the name Yahweh means he is, man. You don't believe that he is, so why is he going to send his son and, 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 and them down here to save us, man? You got to believe, man. It's a lot. You know? You got to believe, man. Woe unto you that have lost patience. You don't want to suffer no more. Didn't the scripture just say in the 11th verse that the Lord is long suffering, man? You ain't want to suffer anymore. Verse 14. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what, what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? They that fear the Lord will not disobey his works, his work. And they that love him will keep his ways, man. Keep, you, you would keep you would keep the ways of Yahweh Bashem El Shai even when you're going through it, man. Even when you're going through whatever you're going through, you still keeping the words of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. You still doing what you're supposed to do as a man of the Lord. Uh, verse 16. Well, man. Yeah. Shit. Verse 16. It says, They that fear the Lord will. Salah. <clears throat> it says they that fear the lord will seek that that which is well pleasing unto him and they that love him shall be filled with the law they that fear the lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight and you gotta prepare your hearts for what the end which is followed by 
the kingdom. So you're supposed to prepare your hearts, man, and humble your souls, man. In his sight, saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. You see, we, we, we're we going to trust in our power, man. No matter what you bring our way, Esau, we're going to trust in our power. Lord's willing, man. You know, we're going to trust in our power, saying we're going to fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. And that's the rock, the second chapter, man. Completely heavy, man. Man, yes, it's, 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 it, it, I will highly recommend, brothers, to, um, you know, meditate on that on that chapter, man. It's, the, it's, it's, it's my favorite chapter. Brothers that know me know that's my favorite chapter, you know. But with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rukhakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule well and told us this truth. And, and the sincere peace and salutations to all the Akim. Pushing this word in the truth and in all sincerity. Hey, shalom.